Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can annotate slides by using Jamboard and slides and smashing them together. My name is Seti and this is another flipped classroom tutorial. Now in today's video, we're going to open up two Google apps alongside each other. Now the first will be Google Slides and the second is Jamboard or opening up the apps launcher, which is the nine dots at the top and simply finding it by clicking on more. Now Google Slides is an amazing presentation tool that I often use in the classroom. Jamboard, however, was designed to annotate and brainstorm together. So let's bring them together. First up, let's open up Google Slides. Now each individual slide can be exported as an image. And this is what we are going to do first. So go ahead and design your slide or open up a slideshow that is already designed and ready to go. Now, in order to download this as an image, you're going to have to go into your file menu. So go ahead and click on file and find download as. Now you're going to download a JPEG image. So go ahead and do that right now because we're going to need this image and we're going to bring it into Jamboard. Now, once you've got your image, the second step will be to put this image into your Google Drive. And then once it's in your Google Drive, you can simply insert it in Jamboard. So go ahead and upload your image into your Google Drive return to your Jamboard and then click on the image icon on the left hand side. This is now going to give you three options. You have a Google search, Google photos, and in the middle, you can select the Google Drive. We're going to click on Google Drive and now we're going to find the slide that we've just uploaded. Now, a great way of quickly finding something that you've recently uploaded is by selecting recent. This is where you're going to see that slide floating right to the top and then you can just simply click on it and insert the slide. And all that's left for you to do now is to resize your slide and make it big enough so you can start annotating it. Now on the left hand side, you have various annotation tools. And if you are like me and you use Jamboard on an interactive whiteboard, then this annotation tool is incredibly powerful. You can share your jam with other students and they can see everything you draw on the interactive whiteboard live as it is being drawn. In addition to that, if you are streaming or if you are highlighting things in class, you can use the laser pointer. Now, now the laser pointer tool is a tool that is going to allow you to highlight something and it automatically fades away. This is great when you're circling words or you're trying to explain something. I hope you found this app smashing helpful. Make sure you scroll down, leave a comment and let me know how are you using Jamboard and Google Slides. Also, if there are any more tips or tricks that you'd like to learn about Google Slides, slides or Jamboard, let me know in that comment section below. As you scroll back up, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be notified of our next video. My name is Seti and I thank you for watching.